words of King David. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I dwell in the heart of the sea, even there your hand will take hold of me. Lord? I want you to travel to Nineveh in Assyria and call out against that great city for their evil has come up before me. Nineveh? In Assyria? You want me to go to Nineveh? Lord, why would you send anyone to that defiled city, let alone your chosen prophet? Do you know the injustice that takes place behind those walls? Have you seen the way they've treated us? Oh, there are so, so many reasons why I should not go to Nineveh, please. I have seen their evil. That is why I am sending you. No. They don't need a warning. What they need is to be destroyed. I will not go to Nineveh. Jonah. No, Lord. I don't care how many times you ask me, I will not go. In fact, I will go anywhere but Nineveh. What's your name? Uh, Jonah. All right. Jonah, where do you want to go? Take me anywhere. I just need it to be somewhere very, very far away. Look, we don't harbour criminals here. If you're running away from the law, I won't have I'm it. I'm not running from the law. Ah, it's a woman, isn't it? No explanation needed. Let's see here. We have a ship leaving for Alexandria in a week. Tyre, next month. Ah, here's one leaving for Nineveh. N not, not Nineveh. All right, not Nineveh. Well, my ship is leaving for Tarsus next hour. For a price, I'll take you with us. Ah, thank you. storm. Oh, mighty God of the sea, save us from this storm. I'll sacrifice anything.
Jonah. Jonah. I have seen many storms in my lifetime, but never one like this. Someone's God is angry, Jonah. You must call on your gods. Any god. He's found me. The gods are angry. We must find out why. Therefore, every man must cast his lot, and we will determine on whose account this catastrophe has struck us. Begin. Next. Where do you come from? I am Jonah, son of Amittai. I am a Hebrew, and I fear the Lord God of heaven who made the sea and the dry land. I am his chosen prophet. If you are his prophet, then why is he angry with you? I'm running away from his presence. How could you do this to us? Did you think you could run away from a god so powerful? He asked me to go somewhere that I did not want to go. So my only choice was to run away from him. What should we do? What can we do to make your god calm the storm for us? There is only one way. He is not angry with you, but only with me. Throw me overboard into the sea. I am the man to blame for this storm. The storm is getting worse. We are still far from land. I'm afraid we have no choice but to do as you say. We earnestly pray, O oh Lord, do not let us perish on account of this man's life. Do not put innocent blood on us, for you, Lord, have done as you pleased.
Is it? Is this how I am to die, Lord? Is the belly of a whale? The Lord has abandoned me, and I am left alone to die. Oh, the Lord has abandoned me. Lord? Is that... Is that you? Yes, Jonah. I am here. <laughs> you haven't left me. No, I haven't left you. <laughs> you... You heard me? Yes. I heard you. Lord, I don't understand. I ran away from your presence, and I thought I had been cast out of your sight. You've never been out of my sight, Jonah. Oh, oh Lord, you have brought up my life from the pit. Even when I didn't deserve it. What's happening? You will still be the one to speak my message. Get up. Go to Nineveh and proclaim the message that I will give to you. Okay. Yes, Lord. I will go. King, I bring you the captives from the north. We await your command. Kill them all. They deserve to suffer. Please, I beg you, have mercy. Please. Hey, hey you. You want to buy a snack? Clones for sale. Come get your piece of the dead. <laughs> Lord, I doubted you, but I understand why you brought me here. There is evil everywhere. You aren't from here. I am from the land of Israel. I am a prophet, and I have been sent by God the only gold to bring this city an important message. Well, if you've a message from God, everyone must hear it. Come with me. You will speak to all the people. People of Nineveh, I bring you a message from the Lord God. He is the only God above any of the false gods you worship. He created the land, the seas, and everything in them. God has sent me here to call out against your wickedness. You worship idols instead of God. You commit horrible acts of violence, and you oppress the weak. Because of your evil, there will be 40 more days. 
and then Nineveh will be overthrown and utterly destroyed. He's right. We have greatly sinned. All of us have. We must repent. My king, forgive me, but I have an urgent message. There is a prophet proclaiming judgment for Assyria's sins. What is his message? This is what the Lord God says. Forty more days and Nineveh will be destroyed. Forty more days? Issue this decree to all the land. In Nineveh, by the decree of the king and his nobles, every person animal, herd, or flock is to fast. They are not to eat or to drink water. Every person must be covered with sackcloth. We must call on God earnestly and turn from our evil ways. No more violence, no more injustice, and no more idols. Who knows? Maybe God will show us mercy and turn from his burning anger so that we will not die. Why are we wearing sackcloth? And why are we dressing our animals? Our family. And the whole city with us has sinned against the true God. We must stop sinning and humble ourselves so that maybe God will spare us, even though we don't deserve it. Ah, <sighs> oh. oh, it's unbearably hot. I'll die before I finish this shelter. Would you look at that? <sighs> That's better. <sighs> Lord, the time has arrived. Unleash your judgment upon these wicked people. They will finally get what they deserve. No! No, no, no! Why, Lord? Lord, please, just destroy them quickly and get it over with. Oh, it's unbearably hot. 
And now I don't even have my plan to provide me shade. Jonah, I am not going to destroy them, even though they do deserve it. They repented and turned from their wicked ways. I will show them mercy. Mercy? Yes. Mercy. Compassion. Did you not see their evil? I did see their evil, just as I saw yours when you ran away from me. But they are much worse. See, I knew you would do this. This was exactly why I didn't want to come here in the first place. You proclaim judgment, and then you change your mind. You, you, are, you are gracious and compassionate and slow to anger and abundant in mercy. It's not fair that you would treat them like this. Go ahead. Kill me if you want to. I'd rather be dead than to see these people receive your mercy. Jonah, do you have a good reason to be angry? Do I? What? Yes! I have good reason to be angry! <laughs> and my plant! I am so angry as you that I would rather die than continue to live like this. You had compassion on your plant, which you did nothing for. You did not cause it to grow. It came up overnight and died overnight. If you have compassion on something as simple and insignificant as one plant, should I not also have compassion on Nineveh, a city of more than 120,000 people, people who do not know good from evil and are lost in darkness? The words of the son of David. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him, whoever believes in him, should not perish but have eternal life.